Well, check this out, guys. Today with a new toy, this is the first time we do a golf cart, electric golf cart in our channel. And well, the title is not a clickbait. This is the world's cheapest or most affordable golf cart that you can buy brand spanking new. So this came from TXPowerSports.com. It has a retail value of $2,700. And it was delivered to my door. It is called the Vitashi Wow. And it does have a 60 volt system. And I believe that the motor is a 2000 watt, maybe a little less. It has a maximum speed of 25 miles an hour, guys. That's absolutely insane. They come in different colors. You get the black, the red, the blue the gray and also the white color the wheel diameter on these is 10 inches but the hub it's from or similar in size to a regular golf cart so there's a lot of options you have here uh, to uh, change the wheels the wheels are quite thin as you can tell here from the bottom all right so it does have uh, batteries here underneath the seat in which we have a key for that let's go ahead and insert the key here real quick there we go and this is the battery compartment guys so we have five 12 volt batteries these are lead acid and they have 35 amp hours so it should give you anywhere between 25 and 30 miles in total range uh, you do get a little breaker here for the power it shuts off everything in case you have an emergency you never know you need to shut it off or that's where that is and i plan to upgrade the batteries uh, maybe not immediately but i do plan to upgrade the batteries uh, to one battery it's going to be a lithium battery uh, 60 volts maybe something like a 60 amp hours or something like that it is super simple to do on here I already got the measurements and everything is uh, pretty straightforward here. All right, and also on the rear, we have a trunk space. So this serves as a, let's see here. I think I had to hold it guys, bear with me. There we go. So this is the trunk side. So you have these two walls in which prevent stuff from moving around. And then this is where the charger is located. Uh, I haven't opened this yet. And yes, guys, we have a heavy duty charger, as you can tell. All right. This is a super heavy duty charger. I mean, this is the most rugged charger I've ever seen. That's pretty neat. And we're going to leave this here for now. And on here, guys, I would say this has at least like two feet uh of width by two feet of length so you can fit a lot of things on there which is super cool and the length here of this cart is going to be about 7.7 feet approximately the height is going to be 5 feet 0.7 and the width here from side to side is going to be about 3.3 feet so yes you can easily fit passengers on here guys uh, you're not going to be cramped up i already rode this with my buddy and we were riding just fine guys and check this out it comes with a spare tire on the rear as well okay you do get led lights for braking you have uh, the rear lights as well they have reverse lights and I mean, I'm just so impressed, guys, with everything you're getting here. This is just a phenomenal value, hands down. This is the most affordable um, golf cart that you can ever, ever buy, especially for a 60-volt system. If you get something like an EasyGo, a name-branded golf cart, you're not going to do more than 15 miles an hour. This thing, out of the box, does 25, okay, which is quite impressive and here we have the little alarm system okay so you can lock it right here we have it locked 
unlock it okay and it does have a radio this is Bluetooth and also it has FM as well you can do uh, memory cards uh, we have the shifter knob here now this is not a real shifter knob this is just for reversing it is a drive drive takes you like to 15 miles an hour approximately and then you have sports that takes you to the whole 25 miles an hour here's a little display I've been holding to get this off for you guys so this is it check that out that is super super clean and wait until you see the display here in a second you will agree that this thing looks pretty darn cool let's take these out also and let's turn it on let's flick the key here for a moment and there it is check that out guys it gives you the battery indicator your speedometer it says ready it gives you the gear in which you're in and the odometer on the bottom right okay so that's pretty pretty cool it tells you the voltage that you're running on and this is for your rpms here at the bottom so on the video it looks like it's a the led lights are blinking or whatever but no it is super super steady now there's a button here which i have no idea what it is it's on the other side this button i don't know what that does yet but I'll find out and let you guys know later. We do have turn signals like a car. Check this out. Let's move the steering wheel. Look at that, guys. Also on the front, you even get um, hazard lights on the top here, right above the uh, steering column. Pretty sure you can see that, but check that out. Okay, it comes with LED lights all around it as well. And it comes with a wiper blade okay so how many golf carts out there can you say comes as equipped as the Vitashi Wow for this awesome price guys I'm pretty sure they come with even more things out there but they're not gonna cost you two thousand dollars seven hundred it's gonna be way way more you have your handbrake right here as well you have your gas pedal your brake pedal and yes guys you can comfortably fit four people on here super super easy you have your uh, hand grips so you can tell and it does have this is like a plastic made roof with metal support uh, it does have independent suspension let's go ahead and take a look here at the bottom side so you can see how it does have suspension on the front with the little swing arms it looks like a car we even have a rack and pinion on there i'm not sure if you guys can see that but it does have a rack and pinion and on the rear you have your differential with again suspension and the little motor okay and yes it is a solid made little cart guys i, I i'm telling you this thing is just crazy uh, right there is the motor as you can tell and it does have disc brakes on the rear okay so now uh, what we're gonna do is go ahead and uh, take it for a ride and uh, see how fast we are really able to go well here we go for the ride I already have I think it's about one mile on here I, I'm not a hundred percent sure about that so anyways guys this is the radio right here so to turn it on you have to flick the key all the way to the front here let's see if it's true power on there the we go device is ready to power. <laughs> i kind of like that voice i the i've heard that voice before is connected successfully so right there we are now connected to what we call the uh, bluetooth so all you have to do is go to your phone as we already do on a daily basis and then connect to the one let's see if i can find it here it says rk008a on your device it might be a little bit different but that's my name it says connected successfully and from here of course we can play some music i had the spanish stuff on here okay and it sounds pretty good too as you guys can hear it's quite responsive as well so the bluetooth is working fine there we go that's the fm radio okay volume down and 
volume up. All right, guys, so you get the idea. It works very, very well. No complaints there whatsoever. So of course, here we have the little shifting knob. Um, I like to ride on sports mode all the time. Uh, I think everybody will use that method. It gives you up to 25 miles an hour. I think the maximum so far that I've done is um, 23. So uh, something I, I didn't know before that I do know now is that it, it likes to lock. So what you do is even though I'm on gear and we are powered on, uh, you have to hit the unlock button here on the actual beeper uh, so that it goes. Otherwise, it won't go. The turning radius is a little bit uh, too short, I would say. Like, you know, it, it likes to make wider turns instead of sharper turns. Right now I have here, of course, my, my buddy, my passenger and it's pulling us like nothing happened guys now when i first got it i noticed that the um the tires were a little bit deflated so now we put them at the proper pressure which is 36 psi of course we have a horn as well beep, beep. that works fine super awesome so we don't have a register yet that's another thing about the Vitachi wild is that it comes already with a vin number so uh, to register it, uh, it's like any other golf cart. It's 100% legal, but mine is banking new. I just got it today. And um, of course, I, I can't do that yet, but this is just around my private neighborhood here. So right now we're doing 19 miles an hour. And let's see how off, if it is off, this pedometer is. So I have this uh, GPS pedometer app. And so that's what we're going to do next is see how fast it's able to go with the uh, GPS pedometer. And uh, keep in mind that I haven't charged it yet. So it says we're doing 17. Already as it is, we're going faster than a standard golf cart, guys. Look at that. 20, 21, 21, 22 and I ran out of road. There's a curve here, guys. So I'm pretty sure that it is as, as advertised, which is sometimes we have to admit it is a little rare on Chinese made products, you know, things coming as advertised, but so far so good. The braking power seems decent. Remember that these are uh, hydraulic brakes. And so, like I said before, the two things I plan to upgrade almost immediately is going to be the battery. And then I'm gonna sell these batteries, they're brand new and the wheels as well. I'm gonna get wider wheels. Maybe the same height. If I'm gonna go a little bigger, maybe 12 inches, these are 10 inches. But man, everything works great, guys. Everything so far is so good. The wheels are a little bit um, off balance, so it kind of jumps a little. I'm pretty sure that if I do get new wheels, that's not gonna be the case. So of course we have the uh, reverse feature. Let's go ahead and try it out right now. So this is the reverse, it's all the way to the left. And of course we have to do this with caution. But yes, it does have reverse. It's not as fast as when you're going forward, but that's pretty cool. Then we have neutral, and then this is drive, guys. Drive, it's a lot slower, it's more for saving battery or maybe riding around the neighborhood where you don't need to go that fast. Uh, so drive is going to take you up to like 15 miles an hour. Alrighty. There we go. Hey, this thing is cool, guys. I love the display. I mean, it looks so futuristic. It doesn't feel cheap whatsoever. On this side you have for your wipers, as you can tell. They work fine. On this side here. I knew it was going a little bit too slow. Let's uh, pass this car. Look at that, guys. I feel, I feel like a pro already passing cars. But this thing is simply awesome. The, the uh, mirrors are super visible. No issues there whatsoever. Suspension feels good. 
with the exception again of this little jump jumpiness as I call it is because of the wheels being unbalanced sometimes it has to do more with the tires than anything else So the speedometer here is claiming 24, 25, about 25. I'm not sure if this system can hold a 72 volts. That'll be awesome if it can do that. Oh, there's our mail carrier. Super cool, guys. Something I want to find out is if it does fit on the sidewalk. I just want to see if it does. So what we're going to do here in a second is actually drive past here and see if we are able to. And check that out, guys. You can. And you still have plenty of space. Pretty awesome. Yep. All right, guys, so I think that we're gonna cut it right here. I think we have already mentioned uh, quite a bunch here about the Vitashi Wow. If you guys have any questions, uh, just leave your comments down below and I will do my best to answer it as soon as possible, guys. Let's go ahead and apply here the emergency brake real quick. And uh, yeah, so if it's uh, two people, here I have uh, my buddy, he just got off, but um, it fits uh, two people in the back super easily. Something I will suggest is that you check uh, every single bolt and nut on here. I found a couple to be loose and that's quite typical. Uh, the quality control on these sometimes is questionable. So you have to be very, very careful. Um, but if you do that, you should be all set guys. I'm telling you this thing is super cool, but you will see more videos about doing upgrades to it, like the wheels, the batteries, and maybe the controller. Uh, I will keep you updated on that. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, comment, and share. Click on the bell icon so that you don't miss future videos like this. And I'll see you on my next one.